uh, 7-3, and then key charged at the end. He popped off, right? So this is really turning more into like a Korea versus Japan kind of thing, right? It's like, oh, I 7-3 you guys back, right? So now we have uh, Chikorin versus Rongchu, which is going to be a crazy match. This match is going to be taken going to take place offline if uh yeah there, there they are um, yeah so let me talk to you real quick Gerald. Like you've been doing your thing out there in korea man i see that studio y'all got you looking uh looking like y'all y'all hanging in there doing some pretty cool stuff but one person yeah. that has not been to that studio is rangchu because he's been out here bro and you know while yeah. uh so much of the tech and world to quote unquote tech and world recently man they've been talking about anybody and everybody recently bro nobody talking about the goddamn game bro Rank two, you don't <laughs> you don't hear him say anything. You don't see him unless it's offline or online play, bro. That's the thing yeah. with out here in Korea, out here in Japan, out there in Pakistan. They've been playing. Y'all been talking about it. Y'all been tweeting. They've been playing out here. Rank two. So here's the thing. You were talking about blowouts after blowout, right? It's kind of becoming this little team thing. You gonna take me seven three? I'm gonna take you seven three. Yeah. Oh, he's speaking Japanese. <laughs> Yeah, so Rangchu referring a little bit to a little bit earlier this year, right? Uh, he's taken two losses to Chikorin in the Topanga leagues, right? Y'all were talking on Twitter, you weren't watching offline tech, and that's the thing. Topanga went down twice in Japan, and in both times, Rangchu lost to Chikorin 7 2 when he ran Julia against Chikorin's geese, 7 0 when he ran, when he ran, ran Panda. So the big thing for, wow. for Rangchu is what has he learned since then? What has season four given him as a player to be able to try to find some way to break Chikorin? You know, there was a few cues I, I, I could take away from when I watched those sets, but Chikorin's composure, his defense, his patience, his optimization was what really stood out to me. You know, in situations we're used to see, this is King, bro, this is Tekken World Tour champion versus Tekken World Tour champion, man. Korea versus Japan, right? This is, this should be that kind of matchup. And especially with the way that we associate Rangchu by name, with the way he plays, his patience, his defense. And yet, in both times, in offline Tekken, it, it felt like Chikorin was the more composed, stronger defense, stronger defensively, and just had... He leveraged Geese's gifts in those matchups against Julia and, and, and Panther, respectively, to where it felt like he was the more composed and more defensive player, honestly. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what characters they pick. They, uh, they all pick... Whoa, okay. No, he's, right. he's got this. He's got this. This was the big Is question the... about this. First question, all right. who's ranked you going to run with? Is he going to go back to Julia? Is he going to stick with the Bears? Second question, because at this point, Chikorin has like a whole... I mean, uh, he's got six Pokeballs full of Tekken characters at this point. He could, in theory, yeah. run Akuma. He could run Leroy. He could run Jin. He could run Geese. You know, and, and that's just that's just the starters, right? It's but here we go. Scary. Showing off one of the most optimized Leroy's in Japan right now. Chikorin now. Oof. Fighting center stage here. Gets that SWAT. Rain back. back to the wall. And this is a common yeah. situation that came up with the first couple times that they played. Rain shoot with his back to the wall, and Chikorin made him pay dearly for doing any strings with exposed highs, doing any strings that ended in minus 12 or minus 14. He was able to take him to the wall, be more patient with him, take his block damage, take his punishment damage, and make Rangchu pay oftentimes in one fell swoop. And right there, that first round was just all Rangchu at the wall, couldn't get out, couldn't really do anything. Yep. The moment he got out, he got tagged low, finishing the round off. Wow. Just what I'm talking about too. And, and again, it's Chikorin finding positioning, right? It's he's finding positioning and then saying Rangchu, I know how strong of a, of a player you are defensively with your reaction and your game sense, but I can be more patient than you. I can wait. Never really overexposing himself or giving Rangchu an out. In, fa in fact, Rangchu, okay, you want to start head bobbing? You want to start looking for this hunting bear stance? I'm going to catch you back and I'm going to put you right back where you were at the wall. Rangchu with the red dress, though. All right. These little spikes working out for him. Rage versus Rage. Chikorin back to the wall. That time needs oh. the big SWAT. Comes up with the mids. Rangchu able to get around here. This is the first time we've seen him face off against Chikorin's Leroy in a long set like this. So I'm curious to see how he goes. Nice. Bait and win and punish. This is not the most common of matches. I mean, if, if you have Panda, if you have Rangchu. Oh, you're hell gonna... no, man. <laughs> yeah, why, why do we love this guy so much, right? Because he does something. <laughs> yeah. He's a character specialist in a way, right? Yeah, yeah. Even though he's kind of gotten away from that in the past couple years, you know, we've seen him run Katarina, we've seen him run a variety of characters. Katarina, Chloe, exactly. uh, Julia, most recently, right? There's something about watching this brother go hand with that bear, man. No. 
And here we go. Crouch jab to interrupt. Chick right now, you see, trying to steadily poke. Get a, get some form of wall splat there. That time, trade in Rang Chu's favor. All right, Rang Chu. He's one more round to get himself on the board. Take the first game. Good block on the magic stick. He's going to get the walls of reward here. Don't, no, just short of it. Honey Bear trying to go low. Orbital from Chikorin. Rang Chu able to block in time here. Back to center stage, even on health. You see Chikorin just trying to back up, get out of range, look for some whip punish opportunities, but Rang Chu able to score some low touches out of Honey Bear stance there. Power Crush, block and punish. Hermit backs on out of it. You can tell in this small stage, these, these guys are definitely in each other's faces because nobody wants to get their backs to the wall and they're just pushing towards each other as opposed to like in other stages where they we saw like matches with like nice uh, slow carry. And, you know. and rank you gonna draw first blood here yeah for sure this it's a different kind of match it, you know this feels almost like a box you know this is like what nate robinson versus jake paul logan paul whatever the hell his name is they gotta fight for center yeah. stage right well I, I guess it's not quite like that right <laughs> <laughs> not yet anyway but there we yeah, go rank you draw first blood here yeah, I mean, this is the thing about uh, smaller stages in general. You can't, you don't have the room to like, you know, backdash, 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 you know, and then go forward, do a couple pokes, backdash, backdash, backdash. You just can't play like that. And uh, you can tell these two players who are, you know, they they are very defensive players. They know how to play that style. Is you can see the stage is kind of like pushing them together. And it, it's uh, we'll see what stage they pick from here on out. Remember the previous uh, the sets, uh, the stage was a big factor, right? Yeah, For I agree. Chanel. And I'm glad yeah. you mentioned that because that's something very specific about the way Rang Chu plays this character too, right? I mean, it felt like after he he won TWT and you know Panda received you know wasn't really blessed in that up in that next patch, right? The thing is with the way Rang Chu plays, he only plays with like 10% of the Bears' move list. It's really just yeah. about good defensive intuition, insane defensive reads, and being able to always put himself in position to be able to score with punishes. That in particular yeah. is, is a big deal, right? And of course, like you said, right, in this kind of stage, all of a sudden, your backwards movement carries some inherent risk, especially when you're up against someone like Chikorin, especially with characters like like Leroy, like uh, like like a, a geese, right? Like an Akuma. Low swipe. The all right, we're... Fish for some high crush. Ranger right, really so respecting wondering... the Hermit's dance, too. I'm wondering how this uh, this set is going to play out, right? So the previous two were kind of, uh, uh, you know, I would say blowouts, but uh, is this going to be where Rangchu kind of gets his revenge on Chikorin? Like I said, man, oh, if you can trust one funny. thing, how can he slap? Low spikes out of hunting. <laughs> no, oh, just barely. I heard that forever. Just oh, barely oh, out of range with the down back four. Nice oh, baits in the low swipe. Oh. But, and this is something that really got Rang Chu in trouble the first couple times that they played during Dipanga. When he overcommitted using strings that end in highs or unsafe mids like that, right? A little bit yeah. overzealous, a little bit of an overextension. Chikorin was able to remain patient, sniff those out, and make him pay in the worst ways possible. See just a small example of it there. Nice crush there. Oh. Chikorin, though. Funny back to center stage. Best stage, by the way. Oh, Best stage. Down yeah. for a one string in the Hermit. Rang Chu scoring good punish exchanges here. All right, throws a stick out. They're trying to get swipe with 2-1 to be able to close it out. 4-3-4. Yeah. And again, it's yeah. just about the low swipes, the Dude. jab strings, the 2-1s, the 1-2s. The Leor has rage the right now. Oh. Yeah. there's the whip punish. Yeah. He was trying to get some, some comeback there, started with an orbital. But just got with punished. Yeah, maybe was trying to read a, uh, maybe read like a uh, a down back two or something like that. Was trying to maybe get a low crush or something. But yeah, Rain Chu able to again hold his patience, oh. wait for that kind of exchange, and then see the whiff, be able to take advantage of it. Gets the launch. He's taking a lot of damage though from that wall combo. Yeah, that time ops for damage doesn't really get any uh, okey here. Back to neutral. Ooh. Oh, the shotgun. Yeah. And uh, Rang, Rang he has, you know, Hermit is so good at being able to just score like chip damage in in pressure, right? But Rang Chu, I feel like, hasn't really given up that, that much defensively to it. He's actually done a pretty good job of mitigating it so far. Nice, yeah. down back four. Oh, ah. oh uh -oh. we parry those, okay. Parry. Oh. And the low, oh, the low no, strikes no, working out for Chikorin here. Uh, you can't press buttons. Low swipe after swipe. Oh, Big launch man. here. Chikorin gonna get the wall. 
Nice. And, and able to Chikrin. Keep, it in, keep it nice and tight afterwards. One to one. Chikrin ties it up. Yeah, this is the kind yeah, of I... back and forth that you would expect when you see these two lined up for a... especially that's the that's the thing that's so cool and exciting about this, man. Uh this is this is offline and then long set. Yeah. That adaptation, yeah. being able to see that kind of stuff. You know, like the the you God bless TWT, by the way. God bless Tekken World Tour. But something that outside of winners' finals, losers' finals, grand finals, we don't get to see that much is that kind of you know, back in the day when they used to do death matches or long sets like that, there's not too many platforms for really for people to be able to get excited about that as much anymore. So being able to see like long sets like this, being able to see that long-term adaptation, the back and forth, especially with regards to how players like to move, uh, what strings they start to favor, or like what kind of setups they start to look for in order to, able to be able to score hits. That back and forth is super interesting. It's super fun in this game. Yeah, this is what this is why these uh, Tekken Online Challenge exhibition matches are so hype, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to see a different aspect of the players. You get to see like sometimes like you just see some stuff that you know you you lose to in these games, and you're like, how do people deal with you know these situations? And having these long sets, you can kind of see them deal with lots of situations, lots of adaptations, and you know eventually you can see a different kind of style near the end. Yeah, so and it, that's what makes it so fun to to watch as a low level viewer or a mid level viewer, right? Cause you be on you're on the rank match grind and I see you break I see you be, you've been using <laughs> I see you with the uh, you got you got the frame data app and everything. I see you over there, Gerald. Oh, but the big no. thing the big thing is being able to watch these sets and like you said, see how top level players what they do to try to mitigate and overcome some of the challenges posed by the opponent's characters and then oppo opposing players too. You get to see that back and forth adaptation. It gives you food for thought to be able to go home, practice and improve. All right, Chikra in with a one-round lead right now. Yeah, ranking, still pretty evenly match right now. No one pulling so away. far, really, really favoring a uh, Honey Bear stance. Nice low parry from Chikra in though. Sniffs out the down back three. Hermit overhead swipe. Yep. Feeds him a down back four for his trouble. Ranks you with the wall oh, control, but yeah, unable to get it. Yeah, Chikra in control there. I felt like Ranku uh, was afraid to press buttons there, and for good reason. Sticks come out. Once per per game. Yeah, I, I I think that that word specifically that you used, afraid, Gerald, when like watching Topanga, that's how it felt, you know? Yeah. It felt like Rangshu at some point hit 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 a position where he was afraid to play his game against Chikorin. And I think that's one reason why like it, it, they went the way they did, you know? Yeah. But that time was fishing for a mid mid get up kick. Or execution or something. But Rangshu now, and this is the position. Back to the wall. Let's just string rip after the hop kick. Fishing for power crush. Looking for a hunting bear low. Can't get it. Swipe and swipe and rage drive from Chikrin. That's going to do oh. it. Yep. 2 1. That's a very. Uh, that kind of round. That is very, very uh, reminiscent of the Topanga series. Those kinds of rounds where Rangshu. He fights very hard for those pokes, those 1 2 touches. You see him be able to build a lead like that. But. All it takes is Chikorin to be able to get positioning once. He's wearing the red dress. Yeah, you do, we'll one, have to see. You do one unsafe thing and he makes you pay in, in the worst way possible. It's, you know, he takes the round back just like that. There were a lot of rounds like that in those Topanga sets and you just saw one one round pretty much just like that. Yeah, so right now it's still too early to see, um, you know, if anyone's pulling away. But it's, uh, it's something we're just going to have to see make this uh, first seven play out a little bit. Um, before we start to see if, you know, any character switching is a possibility. But right now it seems, uh, you know, I don't, I, I feel like Ramq was a little scared that last game. Um, you know, we mentioned, uh, you know, the fear aspect, right? When you play really good players, uh, you get to the point where you feel like everything you do gets countered, right? Even like a down four and you're afraid to, you clam up and you don't press anything. Of course, you know, bear, you know, the bears aren't like the super buttonsy characters, but, um, but even then, you Especially know, Especially the way Ramq like, plays them. Especially. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that too. The character select thing. I mean, so two things stood out to me about what you said, Gerald. Character select? My thing is Chikorin right now, he's he's feeling pretty comfortable, I think. You know, I can't imagine him going to character selects. It, it's gotta be Rangshu, but where do you go? Are you gonna go to Julia? Or are you gonna I don't I don't think they're gonna do significantly better than what he's doing right now. The second question I have is you talked about this, right? When a player when you run into some of these Oh my God! <laughs> oh, when you run into some of these players, 
who <laughs> run into the fist yeah yeah it, it feels like you don't have any answers for what they're doing and it feels like they have every answer for what you're trying to do right how does a yeah. player a champion caliber player like Rangchu, how does he overcome that when he runs into that problem low parry in a yeah. super well that's a good start <laughs> And, but uh, it's going to be heavily scaled, of it's course. That's IQ right there, yeah. The spike, yeah. back to center stage. And that's the big thing with ranks. You get off the wall immediately. Yeah. Give yourself a shot, hit your center stage to be able to try to find the launch. Score score some swipes. Go in the Honey yep. Bear stance. Swipe, go swipe, mid. Swipe, honey bear. Oh, oh, off the berry. Oh. Blocks on the drive, though. He's good. He's good. He's good. Rank you. Chill. Chill. Never mind. Oh. Go in, big dog. There you go. Oh, my God. Round two. Wow. That was so close. Time was... Ticking too. And that those kinds of interactions right there. Range who touches you once, backs up out of range of the of the downward one plus two. In return, gets a nice little just chunky 20-something damage worth of whip punishers, yeah. right? Yeah. Real quick. This is how he plays. <laughs> if he can play like this, if he can still kind of keep this kind of confident game plan like this, of being able to back up, let Chikorin expose himself, score your touches. It's a it's tough to play this way in a long set, but this is how Rangchu plays. And of course, Leroy, a character with so many options, yeah. right? And uh, someone like Chikorin using Leroy, it's, it's insane. Like like that one right there, right? Yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, he's got the hell sweep, he's got these parries, uh, he's got like stance shenanigans if you wanted. The other thing is, uh, Chikorin in particular is optimized Leroy. If you watch the way, like, a lot of his combo routing and stuff, Chik Leroy actually does have some stuff that I, I think at least is, is kind of difficult, right? But yep. you haven't really been able to see Chikorin do it so much just because of the stage selection so far. But when we get to some of these more wide open stages like that, you'll see it in his combo selection. He can maximize carry for sure. Yeah, and right now, it uh, looks like Rangchu's back to the wall again. Uh, I feel like Shikarin's kind of been doing whatever he wants, but he's still at a life deficit. Oh, trade there. Here we go off the drive, though. And Rangchu yeah. couldn't confident to hold his guard there. But uh, here's oof. the thing. Shikarin trying to punish him for getting him getting off the wall. Yeah. Out poking oh, him there. Man. He gets the splat. One more opportunity. Down for him. Whiffs and rank two oh. comes up, scores the hit. Rank played that so well there. <laughs> yeah, that's just that was patience. He got he got yeah. a little bit lucky, but the patience split helped him score the win. Yeah. See right, what I mean? See what I mean? Yeah, optimal optimal wall carry right there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The red rank Leroy's, they would have just let that stuff go, finish short of the wall. Chickerman finishes yeah. that shit. Oh man, this is this is stepping gonna be tough. Left, stepping left. Yeah. Looking for an opening here. Oh, okay. okay, wall splat. Good yeah, start. Good start. Right. Both swipes oh. out of hunting. Yeah. Back on up. Oh. Test him oh. with the G clef. Chicken gets the whip punish. Yep. Final round. Fight. I think this is the closest uh, we've had at this, at least at the start. And you see now, Rank is looking for punishment damage here. You saw him with the dash block. He's looking to try to see yeah. what Chicken's gonna do. If he's gonna put something out. Give him something to work with. Down back four. Man, Rangchu has been so good with his backwards movement to be able to evade that. There's been so many, like, down, Leroy down back four whiffs. Yeah. Like, that one connected, but he's he's had a very, very high success rate of evading that attack. And every time, it's like, what, 23 damage every time? Yeah, of course, the bears have that uh, that hurt box that's kind of weird uh, yeah. on lows, right? The banana box? Knows that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Doesn't mean mid that time. Oh. Now Chikorin gives All up right. his rage. Back to center stage. Rangchu with, the, Rangchu life with, lead, with the life lead, though. With the life lead. Yeah, 15 seconds left. Oh! And runs he gets the launch. Yeah. Is he going to be able to kill? Oh, my God. No. Wow. Gerald. And Gerald. Chikrin. I don't... There's not too many things in this life I feel myself on. What did I say right before? I said optimization. That's the thing with Chikrin. Optimal. Optimization. You know, red rank Leroy's would not have let that would not have finished that round on that combo. Maybe I don't know, yeah, but yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, this is you know, I've seen I've seen those videos, I've seen those clips on Twitter with uh, Chikorin, just like he'll block like some low, and then he'll do like a crouch cancel into a punish that'll get like him like ten extra damage, but yeah. it's like so hard to do. Like, he goes for stuff like that and he grinds that stuff out. So yeah, I think optimal is uh, is is a great description of the way. Shaker in place, but that's just one aspect of yeah, his play. Exactly, right? right? And, and look, that's TWT champion for a reason, man. Like, put it out there, bro. That's that's the champion. Yeah. That's the champion for a reason. Yeah. And that's just yeah. one aspect of his gameplay. And it's something that we've seen him do so much with some of his other characters. To see him now bring that to Leroy, uh, especially in the way he's done over the past month or so. Yeah. 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 It's uh, it's gonna be very, very tough for for some players to get over, I think. Yeah, and I feel like uh I feel like 
Chikrin's also kind of a player like, yeah, he does, he'll pick these like 2D characters and stuff and he'll do really well with them, but he also has a really crazy Jin, right? Which is, you know, the more traditional Tekken style. I think he's, he has a diverse uh, look into how to play the game, right? He knows say, how man, to play. He got like four or five style. Pokeballs in his pocket. It's yeah, all about they're like himself. Different Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah, they're like very different Pokeballs. But I mean, that's that's the kind of team you want though, right? If this is the yeah. kind of, if, if Tekken, competitive Tekken has had the shift where you're seeing fewer and fewer character specialists, right? It's more about the roster that you have to back you up at this point. I mean, this, the, the roster of this game, the roster size is so large at this point. Now, you have to kind of think of it that way, you know? Like, your yeah. roster is a part of your power level. Clutch hop kick right there from Rongju to take the first round. Fishing with the orbital. Orbital, yeah. Rang Chu okay to just back it up, fit. There you go. Sees the down back four. Takes Chikra into the wall, not able to score any damage here. Down back three. Oh, nice block on the down back four. Good, that's a good read from Rangchu, knowing that he would just try to go low after that. And you know, Chikra said that Rangchu, one of the strong points to Rangchu is go, Rangchu! There's some intuition right there. And you saw and yeah. the positioning too. That was the most dangerous place on the stage he could have been. In the corner like that, you know how easy it would have been for Chikorin to be able to do some wall splat peel off stuff and be able to just shave yeah. this out the way. But him to find that low block, be able to read that sweep, very, very good intuition from Rangju. Just Central trading blows right yeah. now. Just trading jabs. Yeah. Low swipe. Fighting for Finally some lows. And Rangju oh. can see him. <laughs> that's nice, that's the a, that's a second one. Yeah, this is so this is part of the back and forth. I can't say yeah. this was something that I really noticed in Topanga, but Rangchu has done a very good job of dealing with Chikorin's lows in the past two games specifically. Yeah. He's been able to smell them. Yeah. And uh Chikorin gets that hell sweep, of course, another great tool that Leroy has. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you get splatted up against the wall and he's in Hermit, but yeah. Rangchu though, still up two rounds in this game. This would be a big deal, man. It'd be good to get make this 3-2 instead of 4-1. He's got to look at this as a must win. Yep. Oh. There's the one for one. Fighting out of the nice. Corner. Nice Abare. Oh, man. Chikorin. Just, he the, just got the better position right yeah, there. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, <laughs> Rangchu is very passive. He's very defensive, right? But sometimes it's tough, man, because he, he's, he's a bear player, right? But yeah. look at what he gave Chikorin. He gave him the positioning to be able to do oh, this. To lost. be able to do all that. Oh, my God. Oh. And then the punish. Yeah, he committed. That that one moment of too much patience and not willing to just kind of put yourself out there just to be able to change the positioning. Chikorin took complete advantage of it, rotated around, took the wall, took the round. And that that was a steal. Rangchu, though, answering back. Yep. He beat the hell out that oh. man. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Man, but Chikorin just switched positions just like that. Just rolls out of there and now Rangchu in the, the wall, risk getting splatted. Oh, goalie low. Uh. You know what okay, the nice thing is, three. Gerald? The thing is, I hate playing bears, but I like watching other people. <laughs> I like watching other people play against them. There we go, nice. Rangchu finds the low. Three to two. Yeah, and oh, uh, it's just so scary. It's being at the wall in Tekken in general. I mean, it's it's so scary. Of course, they toned down the wall damage uh, this season and everything, but it's you know it's that mix up, right? Uh, it's you want to duck because you don't want to get hell swept or you don't you know obviously, but then you also um, you know you you don't want to get you know mid crush or hit in mids and just take a ton of damage that's and the, the walls game. can yeah that's the game you play that's the game you play right so it's like and it, it's very it, it's obviously different per character right some characters have have more threatening lows there than they or maybe their mids are, are super strong so strong that you have to respect their lows at the wall like that right but that pressure yeah. and being able to maintain active defense right being able to try to hold your guard Find that moment where you can step away from the wall while still being, while still guarding or being able to try to press to be able to try to take advantage of the switch. That I think is, that's an important point of going from low, low level to mid level. Your composure at the wall in general, knowing when to go for which. Yeah, definitely. And you start getting a read on people who just happen to be duckers, you know, and this is one of those things where, um, you know, at the lower levels, you'll just be like, okay, this guy ducks every time in this situation, so I'm going to wall splat him or whatever. But it's much harder to crack that code with this level of player, right? First blood from Rangchu. Yeah, nice opening this Chicken round. Into the wall. Got a counter hit launch. Oh, Damn near got nice the wall block. here. Good jab yeah. interrupt there. Ooh. 
And that's the thing on both sides, man. It feels like Renchu has had way more luck scoring his low hits, especially in high, in situations where where that low swipe will act as, as a high crush, right? He's been able to yeah. score a lot of damage off of lows. Shikarin mostly, though, has just been... It feels like he's mostly been punished for his. There we go. Those yeah, low swipes while standing four. Yeah. Round two. Fight. Rangchu living, breathing, in control. Yeah, Rangchu looking really strong right now. Um, I feel like also, like... Uh, you know, he's comfortable in in high tense situations, right? And th Leroy's the kind of player who's has all these options available. And uh, yeah, Rangchu just able to keep this composure. Yeah, I mean, both of these players, right? They're pretty uh, stoic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty he's, dead. Not... <laughs> he's pretty deadpan about most of, the time, most of the time he talks, right? Yeah, I mean, just when you like, you know, <laughs> when you just shoot the shit with him, it's, it's just, you know, he's, he's stoic then too, right? It's like, <laughs> yeah, he's just... But that's why that's why it's interesting yeah. though, because their playstyles reflect their personalities. I feel on some level. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think these two are are, are similar in a lot of respects yeah. for that reason. No. Okay, Boat drives off the table. Jab strings to interrupt. Let's go, Rank Chu. Trying to make it three three. We're gonna get a good little set here. Let's go. Orbital block that shit. Pick you up. Launch you to the wall. Slap the shit out that man. Let's go. Tag him low walking off. Okay, this could change everything. Back to the wall. It's crazy. After all that, it felt it felt like Rain Shu had the round. Had the round. He could very easily lose it all right here. Eating lows now. Power crush through the drive. Let's go. 3-3. Three, three. No round brown. This is gonna give him some confidence boost for sure. Good gambit there. Good gambit. He bet on that. God oh man. That just eat yeah. that beat the shit out that range drive. God damn. <laughs> yeah, this. That's one of the best actually, power crushes in the game, yo. You know, so. This is actually this is a very close uh, set right now, and uh, you know this is something that was absent from the first two. Um, it'll be interesting to see if if uh, Chikorin can you know continue his dominance over uh, historically over Rongchu, or if he can get his revenge right now. It's hard to tell at this point, but that's what makes it exciting. Yeah. So like you were saying. Rank shoes won three games. It's tied, right? Three, three. Rank shoes already done better than the first two two times that they played long sets this year. Right off the bat, he's already doing better. You yeah. brought up the character selection earlier, and I played, and I said, Gerald, shut the hell up. There's no way Chicker is switching characters. <laughs> uh yeah. that's kind of back on the table. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, I I'll walk that back a little bit. Yeah, I didn't say that because I I felt that he wasn't too comfortable with that character. It's just that he has so many, right? Yeah, yeah. And. And the thing is, sometimes in these long sets, you can just like, maybe you've exhausted the options and maybe they've kind of figured it out, adapted a little bit, and a new character can just reset that completely. Yeah, that's and exactly. Especially, I think that kind of approach is favorable for Chikorin specifically, I think now. Look, you know what, man? I'm going to shoot an apology video and then monetize it after this. That's my bad, Gerald. That's not bad. <laughs> that's not I know, I know you, knew, you know a thing or two, man. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a sell bit. We just... Nice low touch. Oh, there we go, yeah. Rangchu is willing to come up swinging. Yeah. Tag him low at the wall. Looking for the wall standing four to finish. You can't get it. Chikorin rotating around, trying to take the wall. No, uh, and Rangchu yeah. not really stepping oh, with him. He's just looking to go this. for it. Yeah, this is classic Rangchu. Just look at this. At the wall, he's like, okay. Oh, oh and oh, that's what happens, that. though. You know, and, and you've shot videos where he talks about this, right? He, where he says, like, you know, he doesn't, he's not really a sidestep heavy kind of player, right? But yeah, he some, likes the 2D style. Yeah, he and he likes he's good at, at blocking, but like man, some of these situations where I felt like he earned the round, that stubbornness just does it, it's just against Chikorin, it just feels like it doesn't work sometimes. Yeah, definitely in this matchup uh with the characters, I mean Rank Chu's at a complete disadvantage when it comes to sidestep power, right? So uh this is one of the reasons why Chikorin gets away uh oh. so easily. Compared to Rock, you nice power crush there. That's the second time he's been able to round. close a round out with it. Yeah, just being able to read the mids there. L look at this 3-3, three, three, one round apiece. This is as tight as it can get, right? Standing four parry. It's crazy. Punishment looking a little awkward now. Yep. That's just a jab touch. Oh. That time, Chikorin claps back. Finally gets a low parry. Yep. Gonna get the wall. Hermit four, Hermit four. Yep. Gonna try to catch oh. Rangchu trying to recover. Punish on yeah, the second hit. He did get out of the wall situation, but he took a lot of damage for it. And then, he, yeah, oh. Chick able to scoop up, comes in, round four. finds the transition hit to be able to close out the round. Ranks you now. <laughs> just, just give him a little slap of the round. Let's go. Yeah, a little slap. It's like I got low parry last time. <laughs> I got more life in me than Nate Robinson in the second <laughs> round. Oh, 
Honey Bear back. Yeah, gives him yeah, the mid. Yeah. He knows now that Chikrin's gonna be looking for those low swipes. He's been showing him a lot. Yeah. Oh, he, he the low shot carry, just send the message. Yep. yep. To the wall. Good damage. Step in oh, low. and this is a tough situation. Oh, it's getting tagged low again. Oh, he tried for an orbital to see if he tried to duck. Didn't. Tasty uh. Steve soundboard. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, do it again. Hunting bear. Oh. Fates goes low. Oh. Low again. Oh, he's going low again. Oh, down oh. back four. Oh, just tags him low. You could tell, like, not too much crazy stuff happened right there at that moment. But you know there was a lot happening in their mind. It's like, Yomi. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, back, yeah. it's back and forth, Yomi. Eye. It's like, all right, yeah. I'm... I'm slightly plus after this. I just went low. I'm gonna go low again. You know, like, uh, d yeah. does he does he know that I'm gonna go low again? It, it's <laughs> like you're seeing the Yomi cycles go there. It's uh, yeah. But you this is what happens in a long set, especially with with players like this at this level. This is how that kind of evolves. Being able to see the differences there. Well, I mean, yeah. In the previous games, no way in hell Chikorin would have down back forward him three times in a row. But because of the way yeah. that this match has gone, I mean, he was he was feeling some kind of way. You know, Rangshu was coming up with mids a lot. So he said, you know, hell, shit, I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, I like how you mentioned again. that term, yeah. yeah. Yomi cycle, that's such a that's such a good term for that, right? Because, like, it is a cycle. And the thing is, like, at, you know, at lower levels of play in Tekken, people are just like, okay, when's it my turn to hit the person, right? Well, as soon as it's my turn, I'm going to go hit, uh, try to hit my opponent, right? But with the Yomi cycle, you basically, you have nothing happening on the screen. You know, you have somebody dashing up to their opponent and them dashing backwards, the opponent dashing backwards, and just nothing is happening. And, you know, it's this Yomi cycle at play that's that's constantly happening. You know, the thing about it too, Gerald, is at low levels, you also do that. But it's interesting the way that it works in Tekken where sometimes the most basic option comes back at the highest level of being what you want to go for, but you just have to slightly delay the timing or you adjust your timing, your cadence in some way. And you're seeing a lot of that in this match as well, especially with yeah. the low with the low pokes in particular. Watch for adjustments in timing. Sometimes those options come back around at the high level. And round two running away with this game right now, up one round and a huge lead. Ooh, nice block and return on the low. Yeah, Chicker in enrage right now. Right you back to the wall. Oh, come at, right come at me, bro. There's, come at. That oh, let's go. Yeah, right there. I love it. I love it when you see at high level play a bunch of nothing happening. I love it. That's so tense. I so that that situation comes up a lot, right? But I can I say personally, I like it when Rainchu does it because the whole <laughs> this whole set, right? We've been criticizing him like he doesn't step off the wall. He just sits there, and lets yeah, yeah. Chicken rotate around. <laughs> but that's hype. He believes in his defense that much. Yeah. Even when he's, he's getting his ass beat, he still believes in his defense like that. Yeah. That's what but he's actually not getting that speed. He's actually doing good. Yeah. I mean, 4 3, and he's, at the, he's about to tie it. Don't speak too soon, Jared. Don't speak too soon. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Chicken run with yeah. the red dress. Yeah. Facing the wall with oh, punish. Oh, nice. With punish. Oh, Lock on the okay, drive. There. Yeah. Oh, low. Four. Look at the punish. Oh. It's just a little bit late. Oh. And the oh. low he's swipe to get it. 4 4. Go round, Brown. Look at this. This is a match. <laughs> We've got a match here. We've got. This is this is tense. This is tense. This could be the one that determines like if Korea or Japan wins, right? I mean, this is it can get it's it can get so close, right? It's three three right now, um, and right now it's looking so back and forth. I, I, yeah, I can't tell. Like, I can't I'm, tell. At this I'm point. glad you you talked about that earlier too because I think uh, especially at we've been saying like low level, mid level, high level the whole stream. I feel like, but anyway, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say it one more time. I don't care. I feel <laughs> like. At low level, this game becomes a lot. It's a lot about knowledge checks, and as a result, when you see a lot of new players, there's a lot of like swinging on each other, right? Yeah. One of the fun things about being able to perceive your growth from that low level to that mid level to the you know the inner whatever you want to call it upper intermediate or whatever is when you start to understand the fundamentals of the game and how difficult it is to be a wall defensively in this game. That's yeah. why that specific reason why. I, that's why I love to watch Rangshu do absolutely nothing. Because you know he's putting his faith in his ability to master the defensive systems of the game and use that to overcome his opponent. He's really just that confident in his guard. Yeah, you know, I, I talked to iMusician about this, about learning other characters, and basically he described learning the other characters in Tekken is basically upping up your defense. Yes, right? and exactly. You know, he just, you have to have a, such a big knowledge of the game, uh, especially in a, in a game where characters have like 12 stances and, and stuff. Right? Why did this dude just down for one him across the stage like that? He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that to that bear like that, man. Let's go. Nice. 
Ranks you with the punish damage, though. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those threes yeah. coming out. Put some threes on him. Chikrin now with stage control. Back to the really wall, tough but situation. only needs oh. one more touch, and he gets the down back yep. four. And they really like the stage. Uh, I like it too. I'm. <laughs> they both like the stage. Gerald, stop they... trying to get me in trouble, man. You know I love this yeah. stage. You know I love this they stage. Love... They love it too. They're not changing. <laughs> He's sliding lows, coming back. Oh, oh, really add up for Chikorin, but here we go. Big launch from Rangchu. Gonna get just shy of the wall here. He wants the pressure though. Orbital over the low. Good read from Chikorin. Yeah. And another tool Leroy has. An orbital that launches. This is the best version of the song too. I don't, I don't like the last yeah. rapper. I like this one. Just let this one play. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to use it in one of my videos. Saving it. Ranks you now. A lot of dash guard, dash blocking. Looking for some kind of prompt to be able to score some punish yeah. damage here. Be able to close out this round. Oh, gets the jab touches. Yeah. Oh, four, five, four. Six, five, oh. Oh, something has to happen. And the oh, mid. Yeah. Gets him with a down, down forward yeah, one. Keeps it nice, safe in mid there. Chickerman looking to go up 5-4. And look, this might be a no round round back. This is as back and forth as you can get. Oh. And of course, Rongchu, you know, he's very careful about low swiping, right? It's Every single low swipe is a risk for a low parry. Oh, it's just in hunting stance, just... Headbutting away. Oh. Yeah, it feels like those lows that he was get scoring so easily earlier. Chikorin now has been able to isolate them. And th those low swipes feel super hard earned for Rangchu now. 5-4 yeah. Chikorin. Yeah. So uh, right now, yeah, this is, this is close. Chikorin just needs to win two more. But Rangchu only needs to win three more, right? I feel like in this set, is, even though it's really close, I feel like kind of... I feel like Chikorin might be pulling away a little bit. Uh, he's just always one step ahead. He's always one game ahead. Um, it'll, of course, if if Rongchu can change that, if he can get a lead at any point of this match. I don't think he's gotten a lead yet. No, uh, but, ever. But, Even but, in yeah. But you caught it earlier, Gerald. Man, I mean, he's been in long sets against Chikorin. This has been a really, really tough fight for him all year long. And for him to even be in this position is like this. It, this feels like a completely different set than what we were watching over the summer. You know. I mean, yeah. he's, he's really staying with them. And, again, that changing in cadence and timing, especially with lows, that's starting to come back around. Earlier, it felt like Rangchu was just swipe, swiping all over him, right? Yeah, and then yeah. now Chikorin's starting to deny him those lows. You can feel them be a lot more hard-earned, those low touches now. So he's having to rely a lot more on trying to back up and look for these jab strings, look for these whip punish opportunities. And you can imagine that might start to roll back onto itself in, in, in the short term. Let's see. Yeah, just def denying a low... Uh, does so much mental damage, right? Yeah. To how it, much you can do it, right? It feels like, especially for on Rangchu's side, it feels like more devastating, I'd say. Yeah. Go pick up, block. All right. Comes up with the three. The corner position. Okay, Rangchu now has to fight his way out of the corner. Oh, gets splatted. Not gonna kill. One more mix up. Goes mid. Jab, jab. Takes the first round. It's crazy, it's like Chikorin man. might be pulling away a He's bit. He's become so accustomed fighting with his back to the wall. It's like yeah. literally every, every, <laughs> everybody <laughs> who tells you like you gotta get off the wall, you gotta move. Yeah. Range was like, nah, I'm good. I just, I just <laughs> like I'm either gonna block and win or I'm gonna take the L. Either way. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, no return. It's hard to react yeah. sometimes, man. Sometimes you block oh. it on accident. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Those low touches, and then he dips oh, right, gets the hell out of there. Oh. Oh, big launch. Big damage. He put that out there. <laughs> oh, hunting and then back yeah. off. Yeah, cancels it. Look for another power crush finish. Oh. Nice. It's oh, the jab nice. touch. Yep. Still so close right now. This is looking way different from the first two exhibition matches that we've had. No, it's it's completely different set, dude. You can yeah. tell. That's what I, I, this is what I'm talking about, man. Y'all yeah. over there, everybody out there on Twitter, y'all talking about allocution, Ooh. all this other stuff. <laughs> Dudes out here playing, man. Back it up, low swipe and return. Yeah. Oh, so just now swinging now. Yeah, now yeah. in situations where Chikorin's looking for a safe mid or maybe even a, a, a yeah. block and punish opportunity, Rangchu's actually just leveraging his lows. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Rangchu and Rage. Make something happen One. here. He has Rage. Oh. He's going to hit by low. Oh. Dash. Dash cancel. Dash cancel. Delay low. 
You know, yep. that kind of thing. Yeah, that's 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 high level shit. <laughs> Sometimes you're tempted to just run in and get the hit, right? It, when it gets these tense situations, but you can't do it at this level. You're gonna get low parried. You're gonna get blocked. It's like we were saying earlier, right? It's it's more now about timing at that point, at that level. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice he's breaking oh. on the Barnum and Bailey. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. He gets caught anyways by the end of that. Oh, it was kind of weird looking. All right. Nice little swipes at the wall. Yeah. Rain shoot. Oh. Oh, okay. Rain shoot still yeah, with a just... linear approach, but Chikorin rotating around and look at the. Look at the positioning. Doesn't matter. Oh man, doesn't matter. Yeah, Ch Chikorin so easily stole that side. It's like he could just like tiptoe over it. Like, I mean, it, it really is yeah. like Rangchu kind of like surrenders it to him. He's like, here, you yeah. can, you can have it. You it know? may be a losing battle for a character that can't sidestep as well, uh, as well, right? I There's think that I think aspect. that's the mentality. Is yeah. he's willing to give that up and just place the faith in his guard and his ability to make a good yeah. defensive read. Oh, okay. Goes for the hop kicks. Oh. Nice. Goes low out of Hermit. Break on the yep. grab. He wants to somehow get out. It's no, the same a, story. He's swinging. He's, he's swinging. in the lead. Oh, oh. He's going to go for a low. Oh, he gets hit. Drive at the wall. This By the rage drive. This isn't going to be that much damage. damage. okay. Oh. oh, goes low. Oh, okay. He commits to the low that time. You can see Rock 2 wanted to swipe his legs so badly there. High five. Let's go. This is uh, this. best set today, I'd say. Best set? Yeah. yeah best this, set. Is, this is intense. Yeah. I had a feeling right. this one just because of... Their history. I wasn't sure. I was like, man, it's I feel like it could be a blowout or it could be really good, right? I'm glad. I was thinking it'd be a, yeah. I'm I was thinking it might be a blowout. I'm thinking, I'm glad Rangchu went home and watched film from all those Topanga sets nonstop and came up with some kind of answer for the, what, what Chikorin brings to the table. But yeah. at 5-5, five, five, you think Chikorin sticks with, with Leroy the whole way through? No one can say. I mean, this is, except Cherry Berry Mango. Like, you know, when I commentated with him, he just called everything mm. perfectly 100% because... You know he's godlike like that right but but yeah i can't tell like from from what's going on right now uh i, I think he might just stick it out um because like i mean look at look at ronchu he's you know he's been playing the same character he's been in situations where he's been losing more often right in in the down position and still hasn't been switching if he does if chicken does a character switch it's more of like a preemptive switch it's like a all right i just have to win you beat you one more time i just have to do a first to one i'm going to change character to you know something else to like a geese and I know I can win that first to one with the character switch. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think he's likely to stick it out actually, but I could definitely see him just like if he goes down one game here, I could. I don't think he'll switch, but it it would be not be terribly surprising if he just went geese after this either. Yeah. But right now, early it takes time. Room. It takes time to adjust to a yeah. uh, character switch. I mean, that's one of the advantages. That's why the person who loses the game gets to do that. Oh, okay, nice. nice. Big launch. launch. Now, how does he pressure here? Wow, sliding oh, low? Oh, slide. Yeah, oh. I hate that move. <laughs> That's the, the scrub killer stuff? I love it. Yeah, oh, but I get killed. I'm such a scrub. I get killed by that <laughs> so bad. Nice Dude's just spamming float. it and keep charging. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. Those jab hitboxes. That's one yeah. That's one reason why you see Rangchu just willing to, in a lot of cases where maybe a lot of other players would press, he's okay to just yeah. take those... Just take those jabs. I'm willing to take the yeah. small damage, be able to take maybe a little bit of frame advantage as well. Be able to try to set up for some whip punish opportunities. Here we go, Dash. He's fainting with hunt hunting bear stance. Whoa. And then Chikrin steps clear around to the other side yeah. of Yeah. And he did that earlier in this set. He was, you know, doing that so much that uh, Rangchu stopped. But I guess he, he, he did it again and he got caught. Yeah, if you eat that much off of a just a good reason yeah. hunting bear stance like that, that... Oh, and he brought it oh, back what still. A what a comeback. Lock and punish. Nice. Let's go. And it, it, yeah, it's not. And these comebacks are not like. These Play are like favor. long comebacks. <laughs> these are not like, oh, I just, you know, I just hell swept you into rage. These that's, comebacks are like, you know, hard fought. That's like the third or fourth time chikrin has been clapped by the uh, hop kick mix up as, as well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh it's a long flat. It felt like he was oh, so can't, close. No. Oh. G Clappy oh, no, went the whole way, yeah. Punish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. wanted. See, that's that rare moment where Rangchu kind of overextends. He bet. That's a big bet right there, right? Yeah. It doesn't he feel like it. He's up two rounds. rounds. He's up two rounds. Yeah. But he had a moment to be able to go up six five on Chikorin. You know. Yeah. It 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 probably carried a little bit more risk than maybe he thinks. Yeah. 
Oh, so careful. Look at this. A bunch of nothing, my not favorite. Not touching nothing! Yeah, look at that. It just, like, ducked that high. And Putt is so sick. He was, he actually, that was just a read. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh, look at this. String, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. And Ron's Mola. in such a good position right now. Mauling him Mola. at the wall. Trying One to more hit. We're trying to move. Oh, Rain can try. he take the lead for the first time? Can Ronchi take the lead? Oh, oh, and he gets the punish. 6-5, Ronchu, one game away. Chick grenade switch. And Ronchu has got so hyped right now. He <laughs> came in front of the, the camera. The camera's this way, but, you know, it's okay. You can look here. You don't know what a camera is. You so. look like a cat, dude. <laughs> I'm going to put it that way. You look like a cat. <laughs> I look like, is it because I wear glasses and have long hair? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cat. I am a, I'm completely a cat, dude, for sure. Like, I'll defend cats and stuff when, like, dog people start talking trash about like, cats. I'm introverted like, I'm and I wear glasses and I got long hair. I'm a camper. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Your cats are the best. <laughs> Getting high, right, man. So, seeing some bears on the screen. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. This, look at this. I did. I didn't <laughs> think it would go down this way, but I'm glad it. I'm glad it's playing out this way, like this. You know, this is fun. Ranch is a fun guy to root for too. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And here, like, do we have a character switch? This is a possibility. Like, Chikrin right here. No, I don't think he's gonna switch. Know? I don't think he's gonna switch. Yeah. No I mean, way, this right? is, uh, yeah, I mean, if he if he doesn't, he has to, uh, you know, he has to win it the whole way, right? If he it's can't. a first to seven and you, you switch a game, like, 13, come on, man. Like, come on, you can't switch yeah, now. Yeah, yeah I mean, he, he's, he's been doing well, and it, but, you know, yeah, yeah, he's going to stick with it. And I, I'm sure there's, like, some pride stuff, too. It's like, okay, let's just, let's make it, you know, this is what we should agree to. And, uh, and yeah, I think he, he's probably going to go all the way with this, but Rongju just needs one more. Uh, this is a uh, set point right now. That game right here. Yeah. Very passive round game. over yeah. so far. Yeah. Ranks you now. Okay, starting to get a little loose with it. Yeah. Trying to force some yeah. mix ups. Swiping away. And this is the thing. Yeah. We didn't see that kind of movement at all from him the first, the whole yeah. first half of the set. Now all of a sudden it comes last game maybe. Yeah. Okay, now we can start the big oh, game a little bit. Game. Now we can start to make yeah. some plays. Oh, they're around you. Ooh, come back right now. Movement. Yeah. Oh, gets the hop kick. Back Going dash, wall. wish punish, and then a good read on yeah. the hop kick. Then it's maul him at the hit, wall. The mix up? Goes oh. mid off of it. Rank you looking real Rank good right you. now. Is Rank you gonna get his revenge? <gasps> Neutral hop kick. Oh, he oh. He ducked. He tried to duck just a little bit late. Yeah. Ooh. Jab pressure. Jabbing away, yeah. Back up and. Look at this. Oh, oh, gets, gets orbital, going to the wall. And that's another risk. The lows can get parried, they can be blocked, mm -hmm. they can also be orbital, they can get low crush. Oh, he tried the orbital there again, got, gets hit by hunting stance. Mid ender again, break. Still swing. Oh, oh he was, looking for the, slap. He yeah. was going for the win. That was a Hail Mary. Oh, a good bet. Oh, it's tense right now. Oh, got interrupted out of his oh. mid. And the lows oh. adding up for Chikorin. Tied up in rounds right now. Jab touch back off. Honey Bear. Oh, nice. okay. Puts him out the air. Yeah. Gets a pickup. Gets the wall. Oh, the extra Time damage. Time the mall. The mix up. Down back three on wake Went up. low, yeah. The low oh. flights. Still swiping There's away. Oh, it was a power, power crush. crush. Yep. Uh, Gets tossed. That's all right, so big pushing deal. him away. Yeah. yeah, good break. Oh, breaks his throw. Now look for the backwards move. Oh. Locked on the magic stick. Yeah. Just look for the wall standing four. Can't get it. Yeah. Oh, Chikorin in rage. So dangerous. Oh. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That double hand swap. Oh. That's one of the big. Oh. In this range that they're playing in, that's one of the moves that Chikorin has gone to the most. Yeah, and look. Yeah. Look at the oh, return wow. he got off of that in rage. That's oh, what Chikorin blocks the rage. Just be careful of. That and down back. Oh. Dash back up. Oh, so tense right now. Ten seconds. Oh, oh, and he gets it. Second online challenge. First set seven point right now. Rang Chu and Chikorin. Korea versus wow. Japan. And oh. Rang Chu is on set point. Yeah. TWT oh. champion versus TWT champion. Put some threes on him. Oh. Wash your paws. Right. You oh, know that's that hesitation. You know that virus oh, out man. there. Wash oh. your paws. Oh, keep your hands to yourself. Yeah. Push him to the wall. Nice. Gets the high splat. Chickering. And are we going speed bag? Oh mid my low. god. All right. 
Rangchu wants it. If Rangchu doesn't win this here, it's gonna be 6-6. Six, six. Oh! Initial... Initial gambit with the, uh... The hop kick, but... Doesn't pay off. You know, whenever Chikorin does, like, the... The orbital and gets blocked, it's so scary! Okay! Counter hit! Even on health here. Uh -oh. Yeah, you see? It's at that range. That's where Rangchu has to be really, really careful. Oh! Swiping away is so close right now. Oh, it's gonna go either way! Okay, just dash, just... Oh! So Still confident low. open his grill like this, let's go! Oh. Is Chikorin gonna do down back four? Is he gonna go low? Oh, is he still swiping away? But the thing is, no rage though! Where Rangchu is though, back to the wall! Oh, back to the wall! Oh, the block's that low! Yes, the jab oh. touches! This. Into oh. the drive and Chikorin gonna even it up! Yeah! And this is gonna go to the final game! 6-6! Six, six. Wow, yeah, you know, I was talking about how close this game is! Yeah. You know, I've, I've been talking about how close this game was in comparison to the first two, but I didn't know it would be this close. I think this for, is. I think for Rangchu, no matter yeah. how this ends, this is a huge moral victory. Somebody who yeah. really struggled to get to get long sets over, and now it's the fact that it's even come down to this. That's a big dub yeah. for Rangchu, straight up. Definitely, definitely. But he's definitely gonna want to take yeah, it, yeah. you know, all the way, right? He wants to. He wants to get the W. No, for sure. Uh, it'll feel bad if it, yeah. if he goes down here. It'll feel bad for sure. Yeah. But it's like seeing the growth in terms of what those first two sets earlier this year were to this now is uh, gotta be a, a huge sigh of relief for him i think yeah it's uh i mean it is definitely a sign of progress right whether he wins this or not it's it's a sign that whatever all that work that he's been putting in is is paying off in this matchup I mean, against chicory you heard him even in the interview right his confidence he sounded very shit he's like uh you know i guess this will be bad or whatever but I'll try my best. <laughs> like you you could see it right you can hear that in the tone of his voice yeah. he did the same thing yeah. during the thing he's like you know i'll try my best but <laughs> he no he he definitely prepped for this please believe right. this was definitely yeah, the match yeah. that he was training for Fight. and it shows wow oh, Michima dojo back to the, the dojo. final game this is the final game guys oh oh man Every hit counts. Yeah. And hit. back to the wall. <laughs> They're both kind of giving up lows on each other, but... Oh, there's yeah, the whip! Oh, big whip there. Oh, there. Just a little bit late oh. there, but... Yeah, then off of a big three. Chikrin's able to take yeah. control of the wall again. Fish is maybe trying to catch Chikrin, yeah. trying to press after that. Puts the wall in the corner. break. Keeps on going low, okay? He gets a pick up. Not gonna oh, kill. the sidewall! Oh! No! Oh, blocks it. Picks up. Oh! Chikrin pressing mid! Jabs! Oh. Crouch jab! Oh. Parry! Oh, that he shit. gets parried! <laughs> Whoa, the, the cameraman! That was crazy. Fight. Yeah, the. the... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. Oh, it feels so bad to get parried like that. <laughs> now you know why he was getting hit earlier. He's trying to parry. Yeah. Another thing to be afraid of when attacking. This is why it's just like, you don't want to press buttons <laughs> sometimes, you know? Hunting bear stance. Rangchu eating a lot of lows here. Oh, man. Oh! Finally, yeah, when he wants to come up with a button, yeah. Chikorin one step oh. ahead. Oh, Rangchu needs this. Back to the oh, low. is it going to be a low? When's the low coming? Oh, oh. oh he gets the low parry. You got a chance so right here. You got a chance got right a here. Chance. Side switch off the drop. Go. Okay. Take the wall oh, okay. back. Wall combo. Wall! Now where you going? Up, can he Down get... back three. Oh, oh he bet it all. He, he goes for it. it. He bet it all. Oh. Chikorin set point. Right. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Can Rongchu come back? This is so. This is so crazy. Is it gonna go to final game? 2018, 2019, yeah. CWT champions. So much. Oh, he's just getting tagged low. Oh, you don't want to block. Oh, by the magic. Oh, right when no. you duck, it's the magic stick. Uh, wow. The magic stick. Yeah. Wow. And Chikorin takes this. No round brown. So close. 6-6. Six, six. Wow, that was that was insane. That was intense. That you could was, just see it. That was the kind At of the end that of we were expecting, I think, from... You put TWT 2018 champion, TWT 2019 champion. That was a good set. That was the kind of set that I was expecting from that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the magic stick didn't work. The entire until the very set, end until there, the very end, yeah. Entire set, like every, he like, you know, like he threw away so many magic sticks that I mean, that it's got to get expensive at that point, right? But at the very end, <laughs> he finally got it because he kept on tagging him with the down back four, you know, conditioning. He's like, okay, I'm going to hit you. Like, look, 
you're free to lows. You, you're so scared that you don't want to block low. You're so free to that. And then he knew that he was going to duck there. Magic Stick, of course, Magic Stick is safe. That's what makes it so good. Um, even though it's it's minus, it's still safe. Uh, it was it was the perfect thing to do right there. I, I felt uh, Chikrin really played that well at the end there. But, I mean, overall, both players just uh, played insane. Uh, Success. That was... Success. Yeah, that was... If you guys were watching this, uh, you guys are lucky That's to see that live. That was... That's great. That was a great set right there. Yeah, man. That was uh that was when you when they showed us this, these fight cards, right? This, you know, yeah, out yeah, out yeah. Chanel. Okay, I get that one, right? They, they put up double low high. I get that one, right? This was the one I looked at. I was like, that could be a really good one. Actually. Yeah. Offline too. Right. Yeah, so there were a lot of things that he was trying to practice for in terms of like counter counterplay in the matchups. But he got really nervous actually, so he couldn't do a lot of them. この this makes the lead now 2 to 1 in favor of Japan. Yeah. But uh yeah, that was very close. That's crazy um, to hear him have... say that of all people too, man. The fact like one of the most I mean literally your TWT champion right now, right? One of the most optimal players especially on this side of the Pacific Ocean. I mean uh for him to say he got nervous <laughs> sitting down in uh I don't know how many people they got in that studio, but it ain't, ain't too many of them. I gotta, I gotta tell you, the fact that he got nervous and forgot some of his his, his like counterplay match strategies and stuff like that, you know, it's something that maybe you never get you never get over. Yeah, that's that's uh yeah, this shows how strong and how much respect that he has for Rangchu, and uh, you can't not respect someone after a set like that. But uh, right now it looks like uh yeah, don't forget to sign up for the uh, Tekken Online Challenge Philippines edition uh happening. December 12th, uh, you know, I know you guys out there in the Philippines love Tekken and uh, I know this is a, a great opportunity uh, to get some games in, um, you know, uh, online and uh, yeah, I, I'm sure we're going to have the same uh, setup with the exhibitions, the final boss, all that good uh, Tekken online challenge 